example, earlier I was talking about the fact that there are six ways that we can see this thing called race, both what we think it is and what we think should be done with it. So the three that speak to what a person can think race is. The first and probably the most common is that it's biological, right? It's hereditary. Um, most people think it's biological. Why? Because in K-12, we still teach students that it's biological. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and then we do the thing of like talking about race in biological terms, skin color, people who look like me, etc. Um, the second way a person can think about race is something called constructionism. How I talk about it in the book is through the language of, of, of race being synthetic. It's this idea that, okay, race isn't biological. It's not something found in nature for humans, but it's as still a human made phenomenon it's still real as a social construction and that's important to hold on to because you know my jacket is synthetic um i cannot go out into the world and find it growing organically in any place okay um uh and I know that a factory made it, but we can talk, it's still real. I'm wearing it, okay? We can talk about what it, what fabric is made out of. We can talk about its parameters, its color, et cetera, its function, right? All of those things. So that's another way to look at race. And that's another, the second most common way to look at race. And then the last way, which is how I view race is something called through skepticism. It's the belief that race is entirely imaginary meaning it is not real at all. It's not real biologically. It's not real as a construction. Now, the, the difference, just to further tease out the difference between viewing race as synthetic and viewing it as imaginary. Again, if something is synthetic, it's human made, but it's still real. I'm wearing it. You're not imagining it, right? Like it's on me. <laughs> <laughs> I could ship it to you. Like it's a real thing, okay? Um, for something to be imaginary, it would be like you imagining the jacket, right? That doesn't actually exist. So if I, if I say the word unicorn, all of us can have an image of what a unicorn looks like. And we could talk about and probably agree on some of the key features and defining characteristics of said unicorns, right? We, like for sure, it has to have one horn, right? It's in the name unicorn. Okay. Uh, everything else might be up for debate, but like probably we would say it would resemble a horse, right? <laughs> um, and, and probably it would have wings. It could fly, right? But what colors unicorns could be and all that other stuff, it's entirely imaginary. We could still talk about it. We could still agree on a lot of things about about what a unicorn is, but it's in our minds, right? We're imagining it. Now, as for the three that speak to what a person thinks should be done with race, so one is that we should preserve it is something called conservationism um most hereditary believers in race believe that we should preserve race we should keep it that makes sense it's in nature it's biological it's something that we have to keep um the second thing we could argue should be done with race is re reform it right reformation reconstruction and actually, Dr. Harris, you used this term earlier. It was like re talking about reconstructing and deconstructing. So reconstructionism is the second most popular way that people think about race and what we should do with it. Um, and it makes sense because since the abolitionist days, abolitionism talking about child slavery, um, people were born into the system that they were born into. So they were born into a, a society that believed in race as biological indeed. Um, and, uh, and so it made sense to try to reconstruct what it meant to be racialized as black in particular to show the humanity of said black people because blackness was again, imagined to be outside of the human. And so the reconstruction efforts to assert humanity into the category that 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 derived from non-humanity um, makes a lot of sense, right? So we we tend to get pushed into reconstructionist modes. But the last philosophy of race, and this is also where I stand, um, is called eliminativism, 
I call it in my book, I talk about it in the term, the terminology of abolition. And it's an argument that whatever race is, we should throw it into the dustbins of forgotten history, right? Now, most people who say race is synthetic, most synthetic believers are for ref reforming race. Most abolitionists about race are um, imaginary non-believers about race. But you can also say that race is a construction and find yourself an abolitionist. I was before I came into full-blown skepticism.